Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today, I'm going to share with you how I made these two beautiful farmhouse home decor pieces using Dollar Tree items. So the first project we're going to be making is this beautiful uh, plantern that looks wooden all around. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these stovetop covers. And what I did is I spray painted mine white just so I can make sure that when I do paint it, um, I won't have to give it as many coats. Then I grabbed a bag of clothespins and I pulled all the clothespins apart to remove that clip right in the middle. And I used one bag of these clothespins for the smaller stovetop cover. So depending on how many you want to make, um, just keep that in mind. So once I di uh, removed all the clips and pulled them apart, what I did was I diluted some paint, some brown paint with water. And then I mixed it up and started staining all of my clothespins. Now one thing I can tell you is I've never done this before to where I had to paint so many um, smaller wood pieces uh, but if I do this again whether it be with clothespins or even the jingle blocks or anything like that anything small like this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make enough uh, diluted water and paint um, in order for me to dip my pieces into the paint instead of me brushing it on one by one um, this just gets really messy uh, so either way it did work out but um, for some reason I just didn't think about it until I started doing Doing it and I just figured I'm since I started I might as well just continue the way I'm doing it so um, yeah I would highly recommend you just um, make enough diluted paint with water um, for in order for you to dip in your pieces and just let them soak for a few minutes pull them out and then you're just gonna grab a cloth any kind of rag that you may have and then you're just gonna pat them dry in order for that extra paint to come off and for it to give it more of that stain look so hopefully this will teach you guys not to do it the way I did it um, by painting each one of them at a time and just make enough diluted paint in order for you to put them into a container that's large enough for the pieces of wood that you're going to stain. So once you're done staining all your pieces of wood, go ahead and set them aside. And what I did is I grabbed the uh, covers and I painted it with the same paint. The only thing I did was to give it more texture, I paint, uh, added baking soda to the paint in order for it to be a uh, more textured paint and that way um, just to give it more of that farmhouse look. So just give it one good coat and let it completely dry before you go to your next step. So while all that was drying, I went ahead and I had these pieces of wood. I think these are kind of like a wood uh, legs for a table or something like that that I had gotten from a thrift store a while back. So I decided to go ahead and use these for the stand part. Um, and what I did was I just sanded it um, just to get that clear coat off in order for me to paint it the same brown that I painted everything else. But if you don't have that, uh, those pieces of wood, don't worry about it. You can even use these uh, blocks that you can get from Dollar Tree as well. So whichever one works for you, if you have something on hand like I did, by all means use that too. Then go ahead and glue whatever stand you wanna use um, with your hot glue gun right in the center of the back of your tray. And then you're just gonna start gluing all the clothespins around the tray in order for it to start making and forming that basket. Thank you. 
And I just used hot glue and it worked perfectly fine. But if you don't feel comfortable just using hot glue, go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue and maybe some E6000 or Fix All Glue from Dollar Tree. Um, but I would recommend you use a little bit of glue. That way you can um, continue going on with the process of not. You'll have to sit there and wait for each one of these pieces of wood to um, at least a little bit of the glue to dry in order for you to move on. So even if you do use um, some permanent glue, I would recommend you add a little bit of hot glue just so it can stay in place um, so you can continue with your project and not take too long doing it. So just continue adding um, any kind of glue you'd like to your wood and then just continue adding those pieces of wood all around your tray. I think this looks so cute just as a tray, but you can easily make it into a tier tray just by adding the other smaller uh, cover on the top part with some more legs or something as your stand. So you could easily make this into a tier tray as well. So what I decided to do, since it did have little grooves into where the clothespins were at, what I did was I just um, added some jute twine onto each one of those little grooves um, and just add a little bit of hot glue um, to finish it off. That way it could stay in place, not just the knot. And I did that to each one of the grooves. And I believe there was three grooves in each one of these clothespins. So that's how many times I wrapped the jute twine around. And I just added a little bit of hot glue and then just continue wrapping it around. And this actually helped it also. So it could be more sturdy. Um, that way, if you wanna use this for say some fruit or something like that, um, it'll be sturdy enough for it not to fall apart or anything because of that jutine that's wrapped around each one of these. So the jutine, uh, jutwine does help out, not just for the looks, but also for it to be a lot more sturdier. So again, just wrap it around all the times you like. And then like always, I use my lighter just to burn off any of that extra little run of hairs on the jute twine. And there you have it, an adorable basket. Now the way I'm gonna use it is I'm gonna use it for some greenery to make it look like a pot. So I added some foam adding with hot glue. Then I just grabbed some greeneries that I had um, from Dollar Tree. These are all from Dollar Tree. And I just started inserting them into my uh, foam and in order for it to kind of look more of a natural look. I wanted this to look as natural as possible. So I added a little bit of the grass right in the center and I added two of the stems and then I grabbed the greenery leaves and then I just, uh, again, what I always do when I make any kind of floral arrangement, I cut the stems individually and then I just uh, fix them up and insert them throughout the foam just to fill it up and to make it look more uh, full. Uh, and it's an easier way for you not to use as much greenery or even flowers if you want to make a flower arrangement as well. So just continue adding all your greenery around until you're happy with the amount you used or you want it to look how full you want it to look. I used a three stems and two of the grass stems. So in total five um, greenery pieces in order for me to make the top part. This would look really pretty as well as for a wedding centerpiece um, if you're going for more of that farmhouse look. I think this would be um, a really cute option instead of always using like, uh, I know a lot of people use um, mason jars and stuff like that. I think this would be a really pretty western type style wedding as well. So there you have it, an adorable greenery. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make, um, I want to call it a basket, but I guess it would be kind of like a garden basket or a tray. And what I did was I used some of these crates. And now I had two of the longer ones and then two of the smaller square crates. But you can use as many as you want, um, whichever size you have. And what I did was I just used my wood glue to glue these all together. So just add some wood glue and uh, start adding and attaching um, all the crates together depending on how many you want to use. I would recommend you use um, some kind of clips or something like that um, in order for you to give that wood glue a few minutes to dry. Uh, since I'm not using any hot glue um, on this part, uh, I did have to make sure that I let this completely dry. 
So once all the crates are all stacked together and completely dry, you can go ahead and um, attach the two ends, which are these really adorable cutting boards that they're the mini size um, that I found in the wood section also at Dollar Tree. So I just, again, added some wood glue at the ends and then attach my cutting boards to that. Then I let this dry a few minutes before I started moving it around in order for me to start making the handle part. So what I used for the handle part were some of the Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree as well. And I used, um, I believe, nine of the Jenga blocks. And again, just used my wood glue and attached and made them all uh, stick together with the wood glue to form that stick. But if you have a dowel um, that's long enough, you can use the wooden dowel as well. So once everything's completely dry, go ahead and attach the handle to your cutting boards right at the top part. And you can just kind of wiggle it in there, but it does fit. And then just go ahead and let this completely dry. And then once everything is nice and dry, you can leave it as is. You can stain it a wood color stain, um, but I wanted to give it more of that white wash stain, so that's what I did. Again, just diluted some white uh, paint with water and brushed it onto my tray. Grabbed a cloth and then just wiped off any of that extra paint before it completely dries um, in order for it to give you that white wash farmhouse look. So once you're done adding all your paint, you can just let this dry, which won't take long at all since it's just the wash paint, um, and let it completely dry, and then you can decorate it any way you like. I absolutely love the way this looked. Um, I'm actually thinking of making a longer one uh, so I can use it on my dining room table. But there you have it, and this is the way I decorated this one. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, and also give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.